Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we have Siege and for this particular one we are trying to clip as many comps as we can and we are trying to use as many Lucians as possible as well. For this first one, you know, I built this Lucian for this particular comp because he has very low crit rate but it will be compensated by the crit rate lead of Charlotte. Therefore, he has a 100% crit rate and I will focus more on damage. And yeah, he does a fairly nice amount of damage without me having to destine crazy runes on him. So yeah, this is a very nice comp and against those particular defenses it works amazingly well, guys. For this second one we're running Tableau and Jamire, guys. We're running my fast Lucian, but this fast Lucian hits quite hard as well. And yeah, it's a part of my double Lucian Arena offense team. And, well, we are trying to outspeed with Tableau, which we did. Now we are using the third kill of Lucian, then we are using the third kill of Jamire, then we, we are going for Tableau again, when we repeat the process, but we will finish them off with Jamire. And, well, if things go well as they seem to have gone, we will be able to actually kill everything. And, well, not everything, but it was fairly simple, guys. We faced two Aldinat fights, with our Eldin at 4 and our Lucian. And for this third one, guys, we are going to outspeed and we are going to cleave them. You know, guys, we are going to outspeed with Dova and Dova will give a turn to my fattest Lucian and he will be doing his thing. Yeah, he will get rid of the Chun-Li and the Galleon at least. And he will rid of everything. That was so nice, guys. So far, so good. Now we're facing an MST defense and against MST guys, you know I love running this counter because there's a Triana there. And when we face Triana, we run this comp. We are going to lower the HP of the Dark Twin. And now that Martina will be gone. And then we will be facing 3 on 2 the rest of the team. Of course, if she doesn't get the stun on my Mihian, things will go well because she only applies detrimental effects for one turn and Mihian can cleanse them. So we can get rid of that thing right now. And if violent runes don't prog like crazy, we should be fine, guys. Yeah, we are fine. And right now, guys, we are running the same comp we did before, but without the Dova. This time around, we replaced Dova with a Teon, and I gave this Teon the runes of my Bernard, because, guys, I, I took out the runes of Teon so that I can transfer runes easily on every siege, because I find myself trying to use this comp again. Of course, that's because I have two, two Light Ninjas, and it worked perfectly fine as before. And against this one, guys, they repeat this defense a lot, and I'm going to cleave it with a Copper Doser comp. We're going to try to Doser, maybe, the... to Doser the Archangel, and then we're going to Copper the Jan, and after that we're going to face Theomars 3 on 1, and we're praying to win that one. And I think we can. Unless Theomars has other plans, as he is showing right now. But yeah, I don't think he can prog enough. And I hope I don't regret saying that. And for this one, I'm running a comp that I love, guys, because it's a pseudo cliff that actually has defense rates, strips, heals, and yeah. You know, we can use the third kill of a shear as many times as we want, as long as we destroy the enemy we are using it on. So, yeah, if our pumpkin gets to strip, and if we actually need to strip, then things will be fairly simple for us. And yeah, we got the proc, so we can start with that unit. Let's see if we get a defense break, and we did, so use the third kill. Now we will have to repeat this full process one more time. However, we cannot get rid of that particular unit, Trasar, because, you know, he will survive the attacks and drop the rock. So, yeah, we should take it easy for now. And now, as long as we can withstand the rocks, which we do because we have HP lead and we have high, high HP on our unit, 
then things should be fine. Now we can defense break, and we can't. But I think we are strong enough to actually finish him off right now, and I'm getting a million violent procs, that helped a lot. And we did not finish him off with our third kill, that's fine, we won this one, guys. This time we are going to Tiana cleave a defense. We are going to strip with Tiana, we are going to defense right with Galleon, we are going to deal a ton of damage and pushbacks with Champong and after that our Tiana will move and use her second skill which will always crit if the enemy doesn't have any buffs. So that should finish off the enemy team if we land the defense rates, which we luckily did this time. So yeah, things will be so much fun. Okay, they are almost gone, and we can use the AoE of Chompong to finish them off, guys. That was a perfectly clean cleave, they didn't even move. And for this one, we are trying to cleave this defense one more time, and if things go well, this should be fine. We are going to aim for the Archangel with the Swords of Katarina. And if we are able to land one attack on the Jan, then things should be fine. If we don't, if we only land on that Archangel or maybe land on, on him and Theomars, then things can get complicated, guys. And we are running on both. And we got the four swords, but it was completely useless. And we couldn't kill the Jan. That's very bad, guys. And she procs. And she procs. Okay, Theomars, please don't. Okay, Theomars. Okay, the stun, and uh, we didn't kill the we didn't kill the Jan guys. That was so bad. That was so bad, and Theomars didn't want us to win. Okay, sometimes this happens, guys. Sometimes this happens. And for our final match, we are uh, running all the opposite of a cliff. We're running a comp that can actually tank them and can get revenge from what happened right now. So yeah, I want to avenge my previous loss and I'm going to do it with a very safe comp that will destroy this team. So guys, we are about to finish this off, and well, this was a very interesting one, we cleaved a lot of things and we could do that because we are on G1 right now, even though it's high G1, it tends to be simpler guys. So here we are, we won this one and it was close, and this is the contribution, congrats to MT for being the MVP as almost every time. So this is my trophy box, guys. Thank you very much for watching this and I really hope to see you all in the next one. Bye bye.